Hey guys, you're here live with MVI right here on YouTube. Um, today I want to bring you a new idea we're playing around with. Um, something I think we can do, something I've gotten some feedback on, some wants out there. So we'll be looking for some guys to uh, do some test runs in a vehicle um, to wrap up R&D and kind of fine tune things. But I do believe we can actually offer Q3 now to the older Cadillac, so 13 through say 17 ATS, XTS, possibly SRX, I'll have to look at that. Um, and most likely Escalade, I, I have to do a little bit f further um, investigation there, but for sure ATS and uh, XTS won't be a problem. So I've got a screen set up here out of a uh, 2013 Cadillac um, ATS. And you'll see as it fires up here, we're going to have the new um, new animation on the Q as far as uh, the new Q3 goes. And then we've got <clears throat> the, uh, the new interface look right here on the screen. So they did separate the uh, CarPlay and Android Auto type thing. Um, I doubt the, the marketplace will work. We, we were still going to play around with that, but... Um, had some people inquiring about getting this new interface on here. It is a little bit smoother as far as the nav goes and whatnot. So, um, yeah, if, you, if there's some interest out there, I, I think we can. Uh, I think we can offer this. So I will need some guys to do some testing for me. So give me your feedback, contact us, etc., and we'll we'll talk about getting you going. So that's the Q side of things. Now the truck side of things, guys. I want to bring you over here and show you. Uh, New upgrade we're playing around with here. So for sure right now, I'm 99.9% .9 positive. Again, I'm gonna need a vehicle or two to test with, but I'm pretty sure we can go from the small screen. So if you've got the IO3 or the IO4 system in there, we can upgrade to the seven inch with the new, um, <clears throat> the new, uh, I'm calling it infotainment three. I'm not quite sure the official term for it but that's what we're calling it uh, my link three Intel link three pretty sure we can now offer that to you guys so once it gets fired up you can see the new interface on here as well which is pretty cool so believe it or not we do have audio and all uh, I'm gonna play around um, with this in a truck, but it does give us a camera icon. So until I'm in a truck and, and see how that's supposed to work, I'm not sure we can get it to work um, yet or not. But um, the new interface here, guys, I, I like a lot better than the, um, the IOB. So instead of going IO3 to IOB, we can now offer you IO3 to IOR and get you this new interface here. Um, and, uh, also if you got IOB and you like to look at this new interface, working on a plug and play solution to just swap IOB to this new interface here and get you up to the, uh, you know, the new stuff. So let me also get Android auto up and running. Actually CarPlay, excuse me. If I can get that for you real quick, guys. Man, we'll see if this phone will... does its job. Yeah, CarPlay pops right up. And now we've got our <coughs> CarPlay functionality on here. So again, the new interface, <coughs> as far as music and apps go, this is your standard Apple Play, if you will. Different look. So 
you like the look of this new interface, I'm pretty sure we can make it happen. Again, right now for sure, IO3 to IOR, IO4 to IOR. And I'm working on doing IO5 and 6 up to the IOS and IOT. That's my next project. So again, guys, going to need some uh, vehicles to test with. Um, so give us a call, 866-428-3585 or text 919-995-9523 if you got some interest. Give me some feedback on this video. We'll go from there. Thanks so much.